Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the 4017, which is one of the 4000 series chips that I'm going to be covering in the 4000 series series. Uh, so this one's a decade counter. It's got a Johnson counter sort of built in, which is part of this five subset thing that it's got going on, but that's all the internal workings. We just want to know how we can use it. Well, a decade counter essentially counts up uh, from zero. So zero is pin three there. That will be your first output and it will be high. And every time you pulse the clock input there, uh, it will count up again. So this isn't one of the, the binary output ones. This is just a sort of a normal digit one. So you'll get output on one if you clock it again. You'll get the next output on two if you clock it again. And then the other ones will, will be low. So I've not connected any resistors to this. So I'm in trouble a little bit there. I should have done. But what I've done is I've connected some LEDs to the outputs on this 4017. Uh, so that we can see it working. And I've got the little diagram here so you can see where you connect five volts, where your reset pin is, where the clock pin is, the enable pin, carry out, which is essentially a divide by 10 pin. So it means that when once it gets to its decade, it's 10, then it will go high on the carry out. Um, but I've not connected that. Let's say you can chain them together or if you're gonna have displays, so like a seven segment display talking to another one, then you can use that. Now this one doesn't decode seven segment displays, but it's really useful and fun for things like LED matrices or uh, for row and column scanning, or if you just wanted to have a ring of LEDs that chased uh, like that. You could also use it as um, sort of a number counter, like a dice perhaps, if you uh, have a 555 timer, you press it and uh, it will stop at a certain point or something or trigger at a certain point. And so you can count through the the numbers. Now I've only attached five LEDs to mine, so I'm connecting the fifth output. Remember it starts at zero. The fifth output is going to my reset pin, so it will reset the chip uh, and start counting from zero. So here it is. I've just got a button attached here, so going into the clock so that I can manually move these counts along. Now there's not really any decoupling on here and it's not a debounce button, so it'll look a bit weird, but that's what happens when you pulse that clock. Now you could do it really, really quickly with an Arduino. I think these will work into the megahertz range. So uh, we are talking very, very quick speeds at changing that um, output there. So they're a really useful chip. I'd advise looking into them.